What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Channel. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Fire Emblem Three Houses. This is the Golden Deer playthrough. Let's run in here. Let's actually talk to our uh, our, our students. You know, I, I'm not. I don't really have an interest in talking to a lot of the other students, just because I kind of want to get this really start getting this rolling. And especially because you know, once we get that first day of exploring the campus, that's going to take a little bit because there's a shitload of people to talk to and all that stuff. So. Dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? You know, I really like Raphael's voice actor. He, it's just, it's, it's very clear and crisp. It's a, it's a really nice voice. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. That, uh, everyone... Oh, wait, no, we have to talk to Haircut. I forgot about him. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. God, I hate you. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. God, I hate his haircut. No, I will not stop talking about that. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about, I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yeah, let's talk, all right. Look at Claude. Your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. Interesting. I didn't know he had a strength and sword. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other, little by little. Now, at his, uh, we we already saw it in the in the Black Eagle playthrough that his um, his sp uh, I'm trying to think what the hell to call it. His um unique class uh he becomes a i'm not it's not wyvern lord because we can anyone can become a wyvern lord it's a wyvern something uh basically it's a you know he's a wyvern lord that focuses on bows so that's a, you know I mean, he's pretty much going to be our uh, our archer and going to be a mounted flying archer apparently but uh, interesting that he has a strength in in, uh, in sword didn't know that but, uh, you know, he's also got the defining ability of Lester Liege, or Lineage, excuse me. So he gains uh, extra experience. So, yeah, okay. He's, you know, our Lord character. He's going to be good no matter what. We got Lorenz. Of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. He's an all around actually decent character. I mean, I never re really looked at his stats with you know strength and magic and all that, but uh, he's probably gonna be a dark knight all you know once we get all the way through, especially with his strengths being in lance, uh, reason, magic, and and uh, cavalry or uh, riding. Excuse me. He's also got the distinguished house, so he'll gain an extra two damage while in formation with about uh, with a battalion. Let's take Raphael. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and actually that's about it. And he's going to clearly, with that strength stat, he is going to be our armor knight. Yeah, I could turn him into a brawler, but uh, nah, he's going to be an armor knight. Because I'm probably going to bring in um, Kaspar to, being a, to be a brawler. In all honesty. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. 
and here he gets a great hit of 20 percent that's not bad um if you ask me it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight he's probably just doing it to please his parents and he's going to be our sniper that's probably where we'll leave him i probably won't turn him into a bow knight i'll probably just leave him as a sniper he also could be a really good assassin if yeah, he, he could be a, actually a good assassin now that I think about it, especially if his his strengths go the right way, or his, um, his, his growths, there we go, go the right way. Hmm, not sure yet. Definitely, uh, I forgot to take a look at Raphael's defining ability. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Claude. Uh, he has goody basket, so he has a chance to recover up to 10% of his max HP at the start of each turn, uh, and the trigger percent is based on his luck stat, which is at 6 at the moment, so... Lysithia. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Why do I feel like Claude's a lot like me in that sense, where he's just gonna, he, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, kind of mess with people just for the fun of it? I wish you could check what her crust does. So she double skill experience that she earns in battle uh, due to the mastermind ability. Um, yeah, she's going to be a Gremory. That's the easy, that's that's the obvious decision that we're going to go with her, especially with her uh, strengths and uh, strengths and reason magic, um, faith magic and command. Sorry that I'm kind of slurring my words. I'm not drunk. I just got done eating a big waffle. So my mouth's kind of syrupy. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Uh, she's going to be our holy knight. Easily, that's a, that's the decision. Uh, animal friend, unit recovers up to 20% of max HP at the start of each turn when adjacent to a cavalry or flying enemy. Uh, our strengths are sword, faith, horse, and flying. I, maybe you could turn her into a really good Pegasus Knight if her strength stat boosts almost every level, but most likely we'll turn her into a Holy Knight. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Still sounds like Goneria to me. Brother coddle her quite a bit. All right, her ability is really cool. I'll get into a second. Her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. I mean, the fact that she's got ten strength is really cool. Um, one one of the weird things about the about the um, Golden Deer House is the fact that there's really no second in command. You know, Dimitri has Dedu, and Edelgard has Hubert. Hilda, I think, is the closest thing to kind of like the 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 second in command of the house. You know, right behind Claude, uh, she's kind of his kind of like his second because you know you see her more often than anyone else but even then she uh unlike hubert and Dedu, who can't be recruited at least as far as i've ever seen uh hilda can so that's kind of interesting about this house I'm, I'm still really curious how the story is gonna develop in this one but uh her defining ability is advocate so adjacent males deal three extra damage during combat which that's a it's a damn good skill uh, her strengths lie in lance and axe, and she is gonna be our um, be a war master. That's that's pretty much how I'm building her out. I'm building her out as a as a very as an axe unit. And Leone. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. All right, Leone. So if a male ally is adjacent, unit deals two extra damage and takes two less during combat. That's a, again a pretty good skill, uh, and no weaknesses. I never really noticed that. But uh, her strengths lie in the lance, bow, and um, horse riding. So definitely she's going to be a bow knight again. Just there's almost no question that she's going to become a bow knight. All right. So now we just need to talk to the other house leaders and we can select our house and get going. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, 
Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy. Delightful. In any case, yeah, yeah, yeah. Investigating the different houses here. No, the blue lines don't interest me. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm kind of just skipping through there. Intro dialogues. We we pretty much I, we went over those in the black uh, the Black Eagle playthrough. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian. I wonder if you'll be tasked. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. I appreciate your effort. There we go. And return to the audience chamber. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. All right, which house to choose? So we have the Black Eagles, the Golden, or the, the Golden, I keep trying to do that. I keep trying to call them the Golden Lions. <laughs> the Blue Lions and the Golden Deer House, which so is ours. The Golden Deer led by Claude, correct? Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh! I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flayne. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. All right. Wait, oh, nope, we still got to talk to these guys. Really? Our new homeroom professor? Is that true? You aren't quite what I had pictured. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was sure you'd be roped into joining the Knights. Don't tell me. You chose this class just to get to know me better, right? I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Whoops. Now that you're our professor, maybe I should choose my words more carefully. I'll always say it. Why give me this dialogue option if I don't, there's only one option? Oh, well then, since we're pretty close in age and all, I suppose formalities aren't all that necessary. One must truly marvel at the exceptionality of this appointment, becoming a teacher to students almost the same age as yourself. How unusual. I've heard you are a skilled mercenary, but I cannot shake my discomfort at your new position. Are you really as strong as they say? Let's see your biceps. I bet I packed on more muscle than you. I doubt that. Apparently, our new professor was personally recommended by Alois, one of the knights. As far as skill goes, I saw it with my own eyes. What's more, Teach here is the child of the most renowned former captain of the Knights of Saros. I heard. There's no way a child of the captain isn't worthy. It's simply not possible. The captain? Who are you talking about? Captain Geralt, of course. The most notable captain of the Knights of Saros and a peerless mercenary. He's not that well known. Huh. It doesn't matter what you think of him. Captain Gerald deserves nothing but respect. Her eyebrows scare me. Well, 
After working as a mercenary alongside a father figure such as he, I have high hopes for our professor. Just because someone is special doesn't mean their children are special too, Lysithia. Assuming that a child is going to be exceptional just because of their lineage is a bad idea. Don't you agree, Marianne? Huh? Oh, um, yes, I suppose so. Well, we can find out for ourselves in battle. I can't wait to see what tactics you've learned from the captain. A battle? Shouldn't we have a welcome party or something first? I'll get the meat. How savage. I propose a nice conversation over tea instead. I am more than willing to procure some high-quality leaves. Tea? You can't get to know someone over tea. There's no meat involved. It's not a party. Your common sensibilities are grating to my noble ears. Please quiet yourself. Sorry for the bickering, Teach. As you can see, the Golden Deer House is a rowdy bunch. We're not especially unified. You'll find nobles and commoners alike here. Those who are dedicated to their studies alongside slackers. But hey, that just makes your life more exciting, right? I really hope you're looking forward to the year ahead as much as I am. Alright, well, we're moving on to a really boring cutscene where Hanneman just goes on and on about the main character's crest. So, uh, I'll just let that play while it's playing. I'm going to go grab a glass of milk. Hopefully, I can get rid of this cotton mouth. Say, while you're here... I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding, for now. I suspect as much, yes, but we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then. Please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. 
It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Let's see, it's not possible to go into battle with the same appearance as the monastery. This is just DLC stuff. We can recruit Anna. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ain't no pay carefully. All right, let's explore the monastery. All right, let's pick up the DLC stuff. Oops. It's been picked up in my inventory. All right, what do I have? All right, let's store both of those. I don't need them. Claude has an iron bow that's good. He's got an iron lance, iron gauntlets. Uh, I would like to replace that with an axe, but for now it's fine. Iron bow, miasma, and a training bow. Iron axe, Nosferatu, and a training sword, and an iron lance. Okay. Not, uh, not garbage, but in all honesty, uh, it's just, if you're gonna have a sword, have an iron sword. There's really no point to giving you a fake sword. And, yeah, you're, you don't need anything but your magic. Um, yeah, everything else looks good. All right. And just, you know, just for fun, show you some of the new... The new looks, yeah, how the loungewear I still think looks really dumb. But I think all of these look really dumb. And classic, you basically, it's a butler. Summer wear. And evening wear. Eh, again, I, I just, I prefer the normal look for the, for the students. See, yeah, loungewear is pretty much the same for the girls. Yep, maid costume, summer wear, yeah, same thing, just a lighter color, and the evening wear, again, just more formal dress look. Yeah, again, I just, uh, and I, I don't mind the class costumes. So, yeah, there you go. Unit appearance is not really anything to, to really look at, so. Yeah, okay. So we got a bunch of quests out there that we can pick up. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Thank you, Seth. Students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Can you can you grow a full beard? Then maybe I'd respect you. But your creepy little like chin strap beard? No. Nah. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking. Of course. Of course. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. I'm just fighting words, Caspar. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. And then you got your reeds over there. Yeah, okay, we can't do anything with the sauna, but that's apparently now a new place that you can hang out with your students. It's weird, but all right. I believe we can also recruit your now. If you have no business here, leave. Yeah, I believe I believe we can recruit him, but that's not for um, another couple chapters. Listen. Do you know the provenance of our class name, the Eagle? 
That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor, hence black eagles. And nobody else is in here. Alright. Almost got everybody. Hey there. Yes, it's true that I'm the only commoner in the Black Eagle house. I knew that before the first day of class. Those people are simply exhausting. You know, I really wish that Adel uh, that no, Edelgard, come on, brain. Uh, that Dorothea kept the um, kept her hat in her um, appearance after the time skip. Because frankly, I like her hat. Before I came to the Officers Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. You know what, Mercedes might not be my favorite character, but I just can't bring myself to not like her. She's just, she's such a sweetheart. She's a really nice character. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus. Lug, the King of Lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Is that word actually pronounced chivalric? I thought it was pronounced chivalric. Or am I completely incorrect? Or is it one of those that's got multiple pronunciations? Or am I just focusing on something that is not important in the least? Hot, have you memorized everyone's names yet? I'm Ignatz, in case you forgot. Now I'm just going to call you Specs. Him? He's haircut. Is that of the I will not stop focusing on this because it's so fucking terrible. Golden deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. God, his haircut's terrible. No, I, like I said, I can't, I can't stop focusing on it. It's so freaking bad. I think we talked to everybody. No, they're still. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Uh, locate. There we go. Yep. All right. We got everybody in the Officers Academy. All right. Now let's keep moving around. Leave. Hello. So, uh, and that's. Uh, I have a teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? I suppose it was silly to ask. Sorry for wasting your time. And Annette. Hey, kind of like Mercedes, I just another character that I just can't come to not like. What the hell? Where is Ah, Lysithia. Okay. Uh, yes. Here's an idea. Hello. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, so I could spend all my hours there. In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Okay. I mean, I've, I too have had the thought of if only I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, but it was because I wanted to play more video games. Okay. Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal. As th Thank you, Dudu. I like Dudu. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Hello. So, about the mock battle that's coming up, you don't mind me sitting it out, do you? 
As a fragile maiden, I'm useless. Fragile maiden. I'll just cheer everyone on instead. Did you hear the news, Teach? Looks like we're gonna have a good old mock battle between the houses. The Golden Deer House isn't exactly what you'd call an elite group just yet, so you may want to whip everyone into shape with some extra training. After all, competition is only fun if you win. To that end, I'd better prepare as well. You know, I was researching what it's like to live here long before I even enrolled. Want me to fill you in, Teach? And yeah, facilities. If you haven't, you bulletin boards and quests. Yeah, we already know all this. Activity points. Students. Blah blah blah. All right. There we go. The main quest for the night is done, or day, whatever the hell you want to call it. And the dormitory. I really wish I could skip these little intro videos, but I cannot. Whoa! I was told that the uh, I was I was told that we can now interact with. Oh wait, no, interacting with animals. I think is what this. I can't remember which wave of DLC we just got. I think we just got the third bit of DLC. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Yeah, I think we just got the third wave of DLC. I think in the fourth one, there's. I've heard rumors that there is uh, interacting with animals. That um, maybe that was this one. I'm not sure. Uh, I've heard that there's some new classes that are going to be added. I hear there's going to be like a, uh... I, uh, was just heading back to my room, bye! That there's going to be like a, uh, like a flying magic user. That there's going to be a, um, that the trickster's coming back along with the war monk. And there's another one that's basically a, a white magic mixed with sword. I'd like to come out unless I really have to. Hope you're okay with that, Professor! Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> ah, Sylvain. He's probably going to be a character that I want to recruit as fast as I can, Professor, seeing that he, um... A small favor to ask. What was I saying? Seeing that he... Um, gets a gets a hero's relic really early on if I can recruit him, because the um, oh my god, why can't I think here? Um, that fight in the tower against the giant um, the ah, god damn it, I can't remember his name. I think it was like chapter three or four. Uh, it was it was Sylvain's brother stole the uh, the hero's relic and then he becomes that monster. You get the hero's relic if um, you have Sylvain on your uh, in your house. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. Ah, Linhart. Hey, it's that kid that I just don't like. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. And let's do some gardening. Yeah, I already know how to garden. Plants. To do seeds. That. Cultivate using infuse with magic. My thanks. And there we go. Quest complete. All that. Picked up some renown. Um. Ba 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 ba. Dormitory. Does not look like anybody is up on the second floor. Actually, I don't even think we can go up to the second floor just yet. I'm a little busy. If you're looking for the greenhouse, it's right. Yeah, thanks, Cyril. I still hate you. Yeah, we can't go up there just yet. Still hate that kid. Hmm. Goddess, goddess. 
I pray to thee, please protect us. <sighs> All right, nice chat. Yeah, we can do some fishing. And I can't go out there just yet. Yeah, don't have any business out there. Can I pet these animals? For the love of God, give me the ability to pet a freaking cat. I know I could just go into the other room where my cat is, but then I can't uh, sit here and do this. I think I've talked to just about everyone who's on the bottom floor. I think the dining hall's the last place. Here myself. My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Yeah, he's also an Why asshole. You help me with a favor. Hate to tell you. I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Thank you. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. And Petra. Another character that I just... I, I love Petra. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Okay. I, I guess I understand what he's talking about. What is today's special? A baked confection coated with noah fruit, cream, uh, and a current a current reduction. Enjoyed as a dessert at family gatherings. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Who to bring? All right. Yeah, let's invite Hilda, seeing that she's in our house, and because I always like to recruit Dorothea because she would make a great dancer. Yummy! Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Am I the only one who thinks that food doesn't look like a dessert? It, it just kind of looks like... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a like a casserole with peas on top. Yet it was called a dessert. I knew I could count on you. There we go. Do do do. That's fish in the pond. Flames bait. Look at me go. You have helped me so much. Here we go. A bunch of fish and whatnot. Where to now? I believe now we head up to the second floor. That's where everyone else should be. Yep, that's what it looks like. Of course. Do bear in mind that even as you are appraising your students, they are appraising you as well. I hope that you will do your best to form lasting bonds with your flock. Oh, and I look forward to witnessing your prowess in the mock battle. Hey, you. 
church has changed a lot since my time. Sedith, Hanneman, Manuela, Uritza, and many of them, none of them were around 20 years ago. Have you met Leone yet? Apparently, it was my influence that inspired her to leave her village. Sorry to burden you, but could you watch over her for me? She's the only apprentice I've ever had. Yeah, well, she's a little crazy. Although, so I guess crazy is not the right word. Let's go with eccentric. Apparently, there is to be a mock battle between the houses. Interesting, but I hope you understand that I have far more important things on my mind. My research is proceeding slower than I would like. Your crest is something of a challenge. Frustrating, yet also quite intriguing. I was wondering if I might get a sample of your flesh. A couple square inches would do. No, perhaps some blood. A couple of drops on the device are all I need. All right, that second one would still be a little better than a few square inches of my flesh. A mock battle? This early? Wow, Professor. They're not giving you any time to settle in, are they? Don't worry, though. Should you get injured, I will care for you all through your recuperation. I will see to you oh so very, very personally. Okay. Creepy. Captain Gerald has hardly changed since 20 years ago. I've aged at least three times as much as he has. Why am I talking about this? Oh, right. It was because I just overheard Tomas remarking on the subject. The leader of a legendary group of knights returned. People are bound to be talking about the old captain. Huh? Yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of like Aloise in that way, that whole, I, wait a minute, I was saying something and I completely forgot about what. I need to love it when that happens. Professor, I hear you are lacking in knowledge of the Church of Seros. The library contains countless documents about the teaching and the history of the church. I encourage you to make good use of them. Hey there. Do I get, uh... No? Okay. I don't get anything anything special for doing all that. Alright, yeah, that, that'll be enough for today. Let's get to the actual, actual battle. Eh, it's Ferdinand's birthday. No. There we go. So I was adjusting my mic stand. I was trying to do that with the with the current grip I had on my controller. All right. Mission: Rivalry of the Houses and Deploy. Time for a mock battle, eh? Hmm. How should we go about this? Well, you'll be our commander, that much is for sure. Just don't screw it up and everything will be great. Got it, Teach? No pressure, though. Right. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. I mean, I'm kind of obligated to. For example, if I add a little something to their food to upset their stomachs... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wink, wink, I read you. You can't <laughs> that sort of thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wink, wink. But say, hypothetically speaking, students from the other houses started racing to the infirmary. As far as anyone knows, it could just be a harmless little stomach bug making the rounds. Well, well, what a fascinating conversation you two are having. May we join? Claude, I can't believe you would stoop to such crooked schemes to gain the advantage. Have you no honor? Are you are you really asking that question? <laughs> if that was really my scheme, I wouldn't be talking about it out in the open. I'm afraid you'll have to wait until our battle to see what's really in store. It's irrelevant anyhow. Whatever you have planned won't save you from a crushing defeat. She has a point. Still, I'm rather eager to see what sort of schemes that mind of yours conjures up. 
You heard him, Teach. We can't let these fine folks down. Are you serious? If they insist. Well, if a crooked scheme is really what you're after, I've got more than a few of those up my sleeve. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. I'm sorry, professors. It's about time I return to my training anyway. Claude, Edelgard, until we meet again on the battlefield, farewell. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. All right, uh, the guide, yeah, how magic works in this game. You need to attack and defense to a unit, blah, blah, blah. Battle preparations, we already went through all this. All right, so I can't buy anything at the marketplace. Uh, we don't have any supports. Uh, take a look at the map. Who are we going up against? Okay, so we still start down here in this corner. But who do we got against us? So we got Ferdinand, Hubert, Edelgard, and Dorothea. That's not a bad grouping. I mean, it's weird that they didn't bring it. Well, I guess because... Oh, really? That Manuel is backing up, though. He's uh, in charge of the Black Eagles. I figured it would be Hanneman. And Hanneman's got the Blue Lions. So they've got Dimitri, Dedu, Mercedes, and Ash. All right. Interesting group to go up against. As far as my units, I uh, keep Marianne as my healer. Lorenz. Honestly, I'm going to ditch Lorenz. Bring in Lysithia. I could bring in Raphael, though. I might be, he might be a good attacker, a good tank as well. Eh, you know what? I'm already bringing out Hilden. Actually, she's got... She's got pretty good health points, now that I take a look at it. Alright. That'll work. I think we're good. Save. As always before battle. And let's fight. So, this is the stage for the mock battle. The command's all yours, Teach. All right. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Yeah, since this is a practice battle, units who are defeated will not be permanently Stay lost. Focused. Thought myself here. Leave it to me. Have him be backed up by Lysithia. Ready and willing. Start sending Claude over. Yeah, Ash will target him. Me? There we go. Because Ash is more likely, or not, uh, yeah, send Marianne over there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I will fight on the front lines. I can stop the enemy's advance with grace. Do you have Lady Edelgard's permission to? I suppose I've no choice but to provide cover. <laughs> Thank you, Hubert. <sighs> we are off to a terrible start. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you? Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. I'm on it. Oh my. We'll try our best. You know, I didn't make a mention of this the first time we played this, but I really like how it seems like the, uh... Ah, jeez. Didn't realize my hit chance would be so freaking low. Uh, I really like how the... Too easy. Um, you're you're hearing them really kind of go through their battle plans and everything, and it all seems very. What's the term? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think exactly what the. 
what the word I'm trying to think of is. It's very... Go. Okay. Son of House Iron. How did I fail? Sorry, did I hurt you? It's not very sophisticated. There we go. You kind of hear them kind of making their plots, you know, plotting their moves or whatever, and it's very, like I said, it, it's kind of uncoordinated, it, it, uncoordinated and whatnot. It's it's very clear that they're learning. Uh, so strong. Have to do better next time. I don't know why that sentence was so hard to get out. It just was. Oh, I can bring Marianne over. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Heal has to be done right next to the target. There we go. Give her how give her some uh some boosts to Faith magic. See with our full might. And oh, she's got a hatchet or hand axe, whatever. I could use a break. Yeah, she'll go down if I try and do that. All right, first off, heal Hilda. There we go. Move up with Scythia. That's fine. Mostly because I was just looking to do enough damage, which I was not able to. And Bylas got a chance to take him down. Did she get up to. No, she's not level 2 just yet. All right, nice dodge. Ah, the new professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. Should I have held back? There we go. Three down. We will use the forest to ambush our enemy. Everyone, I am counting on your support. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Yeah, especially because we really can't. Both of them have ranged attacks, so we can't really do much. Yeah, I think first. Uh, I think right now, going after the uh, going after the blue lions might be our better choice try and draw them out are you planning on fighting two houses at once I will admit that is favorable for us this is a good opportunity for us let's forge ahead all right come on Whoa, we've Manuela moved off her post. Alright, whatever works for me. I'll hit to do. Jeez. Yeah, smash is a better chance of doing something, but let's go in and weaken him a little bit more. Just got so much goddamn defense. Apologies. Yeah, 
And yeah, Smash has a good chance to crit. And it does. Okay, at least she's not dead. <laughs> Send the professor into the forest. I know I can take out to do this turn. We'll weaken him with an arrow from Claude. Marianne heading to the forest. Nosferatu will take him out. Apologies, Your Highness. I can go no further. Was that helpful? Leave it to me. Scythia will drop her into the forest. She's almost completely useless, her... Oh, she's almost out of... Miasmas. Nice dodge. My training was insufficient. I am so sorry, everyone. All right. Um, yeah, I've got nothing left with her. Yeah, she can't even attack. Go. This is as far as I can go. I'm not done yet. Nice level up from Claude. And Lysithia, she's just gonna chill, I guess. Jeez, Edelgard does a lot of damage with a hand axe. Not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claude. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. Losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> Come on, Claude. Dodge. I can take out either one of them. And Marianne can't. Alright, what's smart right now would be Marianne coming to heal Claude. Thanks for that. And Byleth is gonna finish off Edelgard. Because she's the one I'm more scared of. Such power dwells within. 
forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. And now, I was just gonna switch over to the sword. I'm sorry. Not a bad move. I'm gonna start moving over to take on Manuela. Start running away at Lysithia. Claude, finish off Dorothea. My, my. The new professor seems very capable. Sorry, the victory is mine. Yeah, it's basically just me and Claude right now. Sweet crit. Well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. Each battle a chance to grow. All right. Such power dwells within. So, you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. And now it's just me and Hanneman. Okay, run up, try and take some of the fire. Some Claude. You know what? He moved off of his, uh his post, so that works. Alright, Claude's gonna double. No matter what, Claude's not getting taken out. He's gonna get severely injured, but he's not gonna get taken out. He'll double. Byleth comes in. Boom, the win. My goodness. The leadership of someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. As expected. All right. All right, intermediate seal. The winner of this mock battle is... The Golden Deer House. Great work, everyone. Even if it's just a mock battle, the taste of victory is sugary sweet. Great work, Teach. That was a brilliant win. I've been anticipating that magic moment when your tactics and my schemes entwined, and you did not disappoint. That composed expression you always sport like a permanent mask is a perfect complement to my ruthless schemes. That's a joke, of course. Mostly. Sure. To be honest, I had a bunch of other schemes planned as well, just in case the situation called for it. But I didn't have to resort to any of them. I suppose our opponents lucked out. Well met, Professor. The breadth of your skill was on full display today. I must admit that your tactics were masterful. I shudder to think what may have transpired had it been Claude leading us into battle. I noticed that too! We just did what you told us, and we won! As expected from a child of the former captain of the Knights. Thank you for today, Professor. I have much to consider. I never doubted that our Professor would be amazing. It was way too obvious. Don't you agree, Marianne? Uh, me? Oh, um, yes, of course. Well done, Professor. Captain Gerald taught his child well. It would have been more of a surprise had our Professor proved lacking. Don't you think it's a bit harsh to give Gerald all of the credit, Leonie? In any case, it's clear that we only won because of our new mentor's guidance. A mercenary's wisdom and techniques are forged in battle. Those are the sorts of things you can only learn through experience. Right, Teach? But more importantly, it's time to celebrate our victory. 
Teach here has yet to try my well-renowned home cooking. I really do hope you'll join us. After all, I swiped some finely aged cheese from the dining hall for just this occasion. God, I love Claude. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Ah, the Flame Emperor. All right, guys. Well, it seems like that's the end of this chapter. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links, all the stuff can be found down in the description for down in the description below. There we go. That's how you say that. If you're watching over on BitChute, uh, all the social media links can be found in the uh, about section of the channel. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. More next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gills. This is something Gaming Channel. I'm out.